Good morning, Nativity friends. Welcome to AM Church News. I am Debbie Donate. And I am Bob Box. Topping this morning's news is God gifts and what they may be at Nativity. Before we get to our top story, let us check in with our all-around sports guy, Time Out Tom, reporting from Nativity Stadium. Take it a time out here to see what your team looks like for the upcoming game. Okay, your defense is looking good here. The council and the trustees are hard at work defending Nativity. The worship committee is providing the much needed smooth flowing and beautiful services and the volunteer committee is keeping your defensive line healthy and strong. I don't see any problems with penalties with this line of defense. Your offensive line is going to be out there scoring some serious points. The outreach committee is out there supplying food to the food insecure, helping serve meals to the homeless, and welcoming and assisting refugee families. The child and family youth ed committee is doing a great job welcoming new families with VPS. Easter egg hunts, Sunday school, and youth groups. They'll need to keep this up with no delay of game penalties. The special teams seem to be showing up as well. The stewardship committee, with some help from the worship design team, is putting extra time in to keep the stewardship drive going. What this team really needs, though, is you, the 12th man. With your pledge of support, we can win the game. Back to you, Debbie and Bev. Okay, thank you, Tom. And now we go to our breaking story of God Gifts. Coming live to us is our investigative reporter, Nosy Nicole, who is asking questions to some of your most famous members. Yes, thank you, Bev. And I am Nosy Nicole, standing outside of the Church of the Nativity, finding out what all of God Gifts we have here. And oh look, it's Dolly Parton. Hi, y'all. <laughs> yes, I am Dolly, and I love all the music we have here at Nativity. The bands, the chancel choir, the children's choir, praise team, and that wonderful bell choir. Yee-haw! Well, thank you, Dolly. <laughs> and who are you? Hey, I'm Barb the Builder, and I think a God gift at Nativity is all the people we have here that take care of things and fix things and take care of our building. That's great. Thank you so much, Barb. Oh, and look, we have royalty here. Yes, I'm King Charles II. I think God gift is your living Nativity scene, especially with the kings. I also, I also like the uh, Sunday comics <laughs> with all the skits they do. <laughs> and over here we have a superhero. I may be Supergirl, but the real heroes are all the kind and hardworking volunteers we have here in our Nativity family. That is so true. Thank you so much, Supergirl. What? Jesus, I didn't even know you were still alive. I am Jesus, and of course, my child, I live. I live in your heart, and I live here in Nativity. I'm known by my many names, but one of my favorites is teacher. The pastor, Sunday school teachers, and VBS staff are gifts that we all should cherish. Thank you so much, Jesus. So that's a wrap. These are all of God's gifts coming to you inside Nativity. And from outside Nativity, this is Nosy Nicole signing off, and I wish you all a good morning. Thank you for that riveting investigative reporting, Nosy Nicole. And now, we are going to Monsoon Mike for our weather forecast. Thank you, Debbie. It looks like a beautiful day in Nativity land. Let's look at our forecast. Today, it looks like a mild day, and there appears to be no store storms in our future. However, if there were, one would know your pledge dollars would keep you safe and warm. Your donations keep the building heated and all the parking lots plowed. There are also no major rainstorms or flooding in the forecast, but if there was, your building would be secure. 
The new roof repairs and electricity for the sump pump will keep you dry because of your generous donations. All I really see in the near future is plenty of sun coming from the sunny employees at Nativity who warm your heart. You pay for your pastor, music director, custodian, and the sunniest of all, Sandy the Secretary. In our long-range forecast, we are hoping for a large monsoon wind to bring in rain and flooding amounts of pledges. So it's lovely weather out there. Um, go out and enjoy your day. Back to you, Debbie. Thanks, Mike. Sounds like it could be a fantastic financial forecast. Before we leave you, let's take a quick look at your morning commute with Detour Debbie. Yes, thank you, Debbie. It looks like your drive time commute to the offering plate is easy and accident free. In two weeks on October 30th, it will be Pledge Sunday and detours will be in place. The center lane will be one way toward the altar where you will be able to leave your pledge and the two outside lanes will be used as exit ramps only. Please enjoy your easy commute this beautiful Sunday morning. And as always, stop for those Sunday school buses. All right, it's about here at AM Church News. Remember to get your pledges in. I am Debbie Donate. And I am Bob Bucks. Have a blessed day. Your pledge makes us want to shout. shout! Hey!